everyone. I am Rafael Moreno, and today I will be discussing about the affective domain. A holistic lesson requires the in inclusion of all the three domains, cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. In this video, we will be discussing about the affective domain. The affective domain describes the way we deal with things emotionally, and it includes the feelings, beliefs, emotions, values, appreciation, enthusiasms, motivations, and attitudes. Kraftwall and Bloom in 1964's Taxonomy of Affective Domain describes the five categories or levels of affective learning. These five levels, which are listed from the simplest behavior to the most complex are receiving, responding, valuing, organization, and internalizing values are also known as characterization by value. In the receiving level, this involves awareness of feelings and emotions, the willingness to hear or give selected attention, and giving focus or attention on a particular thing in the environment. Examples. At the end of the lesson, the learners must have Listen attentively to the class discussions. Listen to and remember the names of people they just met. Keywords under this level includes accepts, acknowledges, asks, defends, chooses, describes, develops, erects, follows, gives, holds, identifies, listens, locates, Names, points to, selects, sits, recognizes, replies, and uses. Using these keywords does not automatically mean that you are in the receiving level. You have to remember that the meaning of the sentence or the objectives using the keywords should conform to the concept of this level. Second level, responding. This involves active participation in learning, reacting or responding, showing some new behaviors as a result of experience, and compliance in response, willingness to respond, or satisfaction or motivation in response. Responding, examples are participation in class discussions, giving presentations, asking questions to improve understanding of the new ideas, concepts, or models, and compliance with safety rules. Example of objective in this level. At the end of the lesson, the learners must have participated actively in class discussions. As you can see, in the first level, the learners there are just passive in terms of their participation. Whereas in responding, they are now actively involved or they are actively participating in the class discussions. Keywords that can be used for responding includes answers, assists, aids, completes, complies, conforms, cooperates, discusses, examines, breathes, helps, labels, narrates, obeys, performs, practices, presents, reads, recites, reports, responds, selects, shows, tells, and writes. The third level, valuing, involves attaching worth or value to the particular object, phenomenon, or behavior. Strong association to the topic, idea, thing, or phenomenon. Expression or demonstration of acceptance of or commitment to a certain value.
Examples, expressing convictions or beliefs about democracy, demonstrating sensitivity to individual and cultural differences, addressing value conflicts, and proposing social improvement plans and fulfilling commitments. Example of objective in this level, at the end of the lesson, the learners must have shared their views and ideas about various issues raised in class. So in the first level, which is, which is receiving, the learners are just passive in terms of their participation. In the second level, responding, they are now actively participating in class. They're showing interest to the value. In valuing, they are now showing some commitments or some form of worth to the value, object, phenomenon, or behavior. Keywords that can be used are accepts, appreciates, cherish, defends, demonstrates, devotes, differentiates, initiates, invites, joins, justifies, proposes, pursues, respects, seeks, shares, studies, treasures, and works. Organization, this involves integrating the new value system or the new value into his general set of values or value system. It gives priority to the new value and compares and classifies values, resolving conflicts between them. Examples, recognizing the need for balance between freedom, responsible behavior, accepting responsibility for one's behavior, accepting professional ethical standards, creating a life plan in harmony with abilities, interests, and beliefs, prioritizing time effectively to meet the needs of the organization, family, and self. Example of objective in this level, at the end of the lesson, the learners must have expressed prioritizing life study balance. So keywords under this level, and here's alters, arranges, codifies, combines, compares, completes, defends, discriminates, displays, explains, formulates, generalizes, identifies, integrates, modifies, orders, organizes, prepares, relates, systematizes, synthesizes, and ways. So later on, at the end of the video, we will compare all these levels and we will give examples for each level. Characterization by value involves internalizing the values and behave consistently, controlling of individual's behavior by his or her value system, behaving consistently and predictably with a new value. Instructional objectives are concerned with the students or learners' general patterns of adjustment. So there's an adjustment personally, socially, and emotionally. Examples, being able to demonstrate self-reliance and work independently, collaborating in group activities, practicing professional ethics, modifying beliefs and changing behavior based on new evidence, valuing people beyond physical characteristics. Example of objective under this level, at the end of the lesson, the learners must have expressed strong commitment to the value, for example, respect for the environment, and perhaps becoming an environmentalist. So by becoming an environmentalist, the learner is able to show commitment to the value and consistent demonstration of this value, which is respect for the environment. So keywords that can be used under this level are acts, discriminates, displays, 
internalizes, influences, listens, modifies, performs, practices, proposes, qualifies, questions, revises, serves, solves, and verifies. In summary, receiving level involves willingness to pay attention or giving your focus to a particular object in the environment. Responding, you are now reacting voluntarily towards the particular thing. You are actively participating in discussions. And this shows that you are interested in that particular thing or value. Next is valuing. You are now showing acceptance of the value. Organization, you are now rearranging your value system, integrating the new value. And the characterization, you are now incorporating the value into your life and demonstrating the value consistently. So for receiving, you are being aware or you are willing to listen or learn about the event, responding, participating in the event, valuing, accepting or recognizing the value of the event by participating more, organizing, you are now assimilating, internalizing, or prioritizing its importance with other events. And characterizing, fully integrating it by participating in this new event regularly or consistently. A closer look at the levels of affective domain. So for receiving, an individual would read a book passage about human rights. So responding, an individual would read another book about human rights or maybe watch videos about human rights or ask other persons about human rights. For valuing, the individual would, will demonstrate this by voluntarily attending a lecture on human rights. Organization, the, event, the individual now will arrange a human rights rally. Or the individual will attend human rights conferences or conventions rather than attending other conferences. Characterization by value, the individual is now firmly committed and perhaps becoming a human rights leader or advocate. So this is, um, these are examples for each level of the affective domain. Let us remember that learning targets or objectives are statements of what we want to observe in the behavior or performance of our students. In writing learning targets or objectives, we use action verbs or observable or measurable, measurable verbs, which indicate explicitly what the learners must do in order to demonstrate their learning. We avoid verbs such as know, learn, and understand because they are vague and it is difficult to evaluate whether the learner have truly known, learned, or understood the lesson or concept. These are the references I used in this presentation. Thank you very much. And if you like this video, kindly click the like or thumbs up button. And you may also subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you want more topics that you want me to make videos on, kindly list those topics in the comment section below. So thank you very much and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.